Climate change is a serious threat to our environment, our planet, and our future. We've all seen the effects of climate change ranging in severity. You can still see the effects right now as the wildfires continue to rage, smoke continues to pollute the air, devastating floods and hurricanes, and warming temperatures. Since I'm from California, I've experienced the wildfires' effects close up. Although the fires aren't near where I live, I can still see and smell the effects of them. With the corona situation, leaving the house is already a risk, but when you add on smoke and poor air quality, you very rarely go outside. Imagine being trapped in your house every day and only going outside for maybe an occasional doctor's appointment or a trip to the store due to the poor air quality. We need to fix this problem of climate change. Currently, the air quality is fluctuating between being considered good and moderate or unhealthy. But in some areas of California, and even Oregon, the air quality has been considered hazardous. Did you know that one out of every seven Americans have experienced dangerous air quality this year due to wildfires? The cause of this was the huge wildfires and the devastating effects of climate change here that are still continuing to burn for months. The August Complex Fire in California is now the largest fire in California's history and even has a term called for it, a gigafire. Now, what does this all mean? Although there are many consequences of climate change, one consequence is are people losing their homes and being forced to move. Something that's a little similar to this is called climate migrants, which basically means people that are forced to move because of their changing climate where they live. This affects people who are at least capable of adapting. Over 68 million people were forcibly displaced in 2017, more than at any other time. Many of the places that are most vulnerable are where population growth is expected to grow rapidly, which can strain resources and create challenges to disaster response. Here's another thing. Under international law, people fleeing environmental causes can't legally become refugees. This all means that people are being forced to move, sometimes to different countries, to escape climate change effects where they live, that makes it not suitable to live. But since under international law, they aren't considered refugees, this makes this more complicated. We need to work together as a species, as people, as the world of 7 billion, to combat this problem of climate change before it's too late. The effects and consequences will continue to get more and more worse and soon will be irreversible.